Well, you know, in regards to the game today, I'd like to give St. Peter's a lot of credit. I thought they did a great job. They had a great game game plan. Um, you know, it was an ugly game. Uh, the season's real long. You got to play different types of games, and I was proud of our guys for pulling it out. I thought I thought we were guarding early, but we really weren't stopping them. And then I thought uh, late in the game, we really got a lot of stops. Christian became more active, uh, blocking shots and affecting shots. And then we rebounded, and Yaya Evans with 18 rebounds was tremendous. Well, you know, obviously we'd like to get this game going into St. John's and go there and, and just leave it all out there on Wednesday night. But we, we had to take care of business today, and it was a really tough game. Uh, I thought it was a great crowd. Um, for some reason, our guys didn't seem comfortable early in the game. Uh, I don't know. We hit a couple of shots early, and then we kind of just hit a lull, and we couldn't make a shot. I think we let our offense affect us a little bit. We started to press and maybe – not move the ball as well. I was real happy with our ball movement against Lowell. I didn't think we did that today. Uh, but credit St. Peter's, they, they played some defenses where you know they showed zone, went man, things like that. And and our guys hadn't seen much of that, so I think it took them out of rhythm a little bit. Um, down the stretch of the game, you mentioned how you guys started having, making big stops. You guys held the Peacocks without a field goal for over 10 minutes to close out the game. Um, can you talk a little bit about the defensive adjustments in the second half? You know, we really didn't adjust. Um, you know, I, I, I was happy with our defense down the stretch. I did not know we held them without a field goal for that long a period of time. Uh, but I, I was happy with the effort. I thought our five men in the first half were not active. They weren't active with their feet. They were lunging to try and block shots, and, and they were a step behind everything. And then I think in the second half, Dennis started it out. He did okay. And, and then Christian, you know, with his ability to block shots, really was a factor in bothering them in the second half. Um, Jalen finished the game with 21 points, uh, knocked down five threes. All, all of his field goals were threes. Um, can you talk a little bit about his performance today and what kind of long, what that long range shooting does for the team? Well, well Jalen's a great shooter, and, and he's he's really expanded his game this year, where he's become a good driver. He had some really strong drives today as well. Uh, but he, he's just he's a he's a ball player. I mean, he's he's grown up on the game. It means the world to him and, and I'll go to war with him every time. And last one for you. Yaya, uh, his second straight game setting a career high in rebounds. Today he finished with 18 boards. Um, what have you seen from him over the last couple of games? It seems like he's been more physical, crashing the boards. Well, you know, it, it's an adjustment to play Division One basketball. Last year, Yaya basically just wasn't ready. He um, he had to learn. He would come in the game and hunt shots, and you know we played him early. I, I, we always knew he had ability, but he he would turn it over and take wild shots, and we had to sit him down for a little bit and and teach him how to play. Uh, but he has tremendous athletic ability. He's long. He's athletic. He's now buying into defending. His defense has really gotten better the last couple of games, and. He's buying into rebounding. I thought rebounding was a concern coming into the season, and he's one of the reasons we've been okay on the glass, and I'm really proud of him. He's learning how to play Division I basketball. All right, thanks, Coach. Best of luck. Thanks.